about how much time do I spend on social media. Um, I normally go on Instagram for like an hour or two. A lot. <laughs> Four hours a day. Whole day. I don't keep track of time. So... I would say I spend about two or three hours of my day on social media in like a row and then maybe four or five if it's like a weekend, so. I don't know, like six hours. Okay, I have Instagram, Snapchat, and that's pretty much it. Snapchat, Instagram. Uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and that's about it. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook for my family, and YouTube. Three, I have Twitter, I have Pinterest, and I have Snapchat. Um, I have seen other people being body shamed, but I've never been body shamed myself. I've witnessed a lot of my friends being called fat or being called sluts or whores and stuff on it. Uh, I've seen people call people fat, skinny, you know, you're too skinny, you're either too fat, or you're sexual harassment, so you're too thick, I guess. I get kind of angry a little bit. I hang out with my friends. I was outside. I read a lot. Go outside or like do like draw or something, you know? Um, watch TV. Um, I'm usually helping my mom out with my brother or I'm feeding my dog or I'm playing on my computer. Yes, I do know people have been cyberbullied, but I don't think I've been cyberbullied myself. I've witnessed it. Basically, um, you get, I got into a lot of arguments on social media with people accusing me of things I didn't say. Basically, just getting cornered about rumors and stuff and getting blocked, so. Yeah, like, there's just, like, people who, like, talk about other people on social media. There was this one guy who kept adding all my friends and kept asking for news and stuff. And so my friend actually called the police on him and they tracked him down. He was a 38-year-old man in Texas. Yes. It was basically about like someone being followed and stalked on Instagram and then they like met up and then she like got kidnapped.